We have discovered a mysterious hole on Mars, and initial estimates suggest that it may be home to a gigantic cave. Could there even be life there, and will humans soon explore this hole? We'll look at all this in this video, so be sure to stay tuned until the end. Welcome, friends. We live in exciting times, folks. If all goes well, we will experience the first manned flight to Mars in the next few years, our very own Apollo moment. I'll keep you up to date on this here on the channel, so feel free to leave a subscription. You'll never miss out on space news again, and you'll be helping me immensely. Thank you very much, friends. Looking at maps of Mars is super fascinating. We have a completely mapped alien planet here with natural wonders that are truly unparalleled in the solar system. Olympus Mons, for example, is the highest mountain in the solar system with a peak about two and a half times higher than Mount Everest and a diameter of 600 kilometers, so it's really a monster of a mountain. Then we have the Valles Marineris, a gigantic rift valley system that makes the Grand Canyon look like a small crack. With a length of 4,000 kilometers, a width of 700 kilometers, and a depth of up to seven kilometers, the Valles Marineris is one of the largest rift valley systems in the solar system, almost as wide as the entire USA. So we see that Mars, although it is much smaller than Earth, can still offer some superlatives, and this discovery also belongs to this series of spectacular landscape features on Mars, a mysterious hole in the Asia Mons region. This hole raises quite a few questions and could have implications for future exploration and colonization of Mars. The hole was photographed by the high-rise camera of the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter from an altitude of about 256 kilometers. It is located on the flank of the extinct volcano Arciamons, one of three large volcanoes in the Tarsus region. The hole is only a few meters wide and its depth is unknown. It could be a vertical shaft leading to a larger cave or a lava tube that was formed long ago when the volcano was still active. Imagine this, the entrance to a volcanic cave on Mars. Sounds like something out of a science fiction novel and I asked the AI how she imagined this volcanic cave and this was the result. I would give a lot to explore this cave. This type of geological structure is not unique to Mars. Similar formations can be found on Earth, especially in volcanic regions. For example, in Hawaii, there such holes are called pit craters, which often form when underground material collapses. An exciting difference, however, is that the gravity on Mars is weaker than on Earth, which may allow for larger underground structures. In other words, the chances are good that we are really dealing with an epic cave system like in Jules Verne. Who knows what's down there? Maybe even life. On Earth, underground caves are often habitats for a variety of microorganisms that thrive in extreme environments. Similar life forms could also exist on Mars, especially in such protected underground environments that may be wetter and warmer than the surface. I can already hear some of you saying, Haha, <laughs> Astro Tim believes in Martians. Not Martians, perhaps, but the possibility of life on the red planet is not that absurd. Scientists are very sure that there was water on Mars in the past, if only because of its rusty surface. The red color is probably due to oxidation. To see this, you only have to look at the Martian landscape. For example, the Jezero Crater. It is a 48-kilometer wide asteroid crater in which NASA's Perseverance rover was deployed in 2021. Through the analysis of Perseverance, we know that the Jezero Crater was probably completely filled with water billions of years ago. Its catchment area covered around 15,000 square kilometers, and its tributaries carried numerous suspended solids to it. Around the crater, you can still see the remains of extensive deltas. So in the past, this area was probably an oasis of life, and Jezero is also the Slavic word for lake. There is obviously no more liquid water on the surface of Mars today. Everything is dry, rusty, and barren, but could it be that remnants of these once paradisiacal conditions have been preserved underground, or rather under Martian soil? Cave systems in which a small amount of moisture and perhaps even life could still exist today? And that brings us back to our hole. Underground caves or lava tube structures on Mars could be ideal places to search for extraterrestrial life forms. These structures offer protection from the harsh surface conditions and could provide stable conditions that favor the survival of microbes, for example. So, I'd bet a pizza that we would find some very interesting things if we sent a probe into this hole. What do you think? Write to me in the comments if you also think that I could hide biological structures in such Martian holes. I'm very curious to see what you think, but even if there is no life there at the moment, that could change. 
change, because I know a few very likable life forms that would be keen to live in such Mars holes, and by that I mean us, the nice homo sapiens from planet Earth. There are quite a few of us who would like to fly to Mars, Elon Musk once put it very nicely, I would love to die on Mars, just not necessarily during the landing. One of the most exciting aspects of this hole is actually its potential use as a shelter for future astronauts. Mars has a very thin atmosphere and no global magnetic field protection like Earth. This means that the surface is exposed to much higher levels of radiation, which is about 40 to 50 times higher than on Earth. This radiation is, of course, a significant threat to human health, and on top of that, there are violent and destructive sandstorms on the surface of the planet that could endanger a base in the long term. So these are good reasons to move to the basement and build the first base on Mars in such a cave system. In such a shelter, the astronauts would also be protected from the extreme temperature fluctuations on Mars, where the climate varies between a pleasant zero degrees and minus 100 degrees Celsius, making it a difficult planet for sun worshippers. But in such a cave, you could escape the extreme fluctuations and probably also build an artificial temperature control system more easily. We know this from the moon. On the moon there are also craters that lead to underground lava tubes and these are thermally stable. Similar cylindrical pits on the moon actually have stable temperatures of around 17 degrees. Perfect. And even if none of this turns out to be true, no cute little Martian aliens in the hole and no Homo sapiens base in the future, the hole in the Asiamons region still offers valuable insights into the geological history of Mars. The formation of such holes and cave structures is closely linked to the volcanic activity of the planet. Lava tube structures are formed when lava flows underground from a volcano. When the volcano dies down and the lava then flows out, it leaves behind an empty tube. When the ceiling of this tube collapses in certain areas, these holes are formed. I have to say that I find that alone super exciting. In the past, there could even have been violent steam eruptions from such holes. Planetary scientist Christopher Hamilton from the University of Arizona says, If there was a crack in the Martian crust, water could flow to the surface. Due to the low atmospheric pressure, the water will probably literally just boil away. But if enough water escapes during this period, it could cause a huge flood that races across the landscape and forms the huge structures we see. It's all super exciting, and as soon as we find out more about these cave systems on Mars, I'll let you know right away. So please subscribe to the channel now. Let's stay with exciting objects in the solar system. One of them is the asteroid Apophis, named after the Egyptian god of chaos and destruction. Apophis is classified as a dangerous asteroid that could lead to a catastrophe on Earth, and it is approaching Earth. You will even be able to see it with the naked eye, an event that you should not miss. To find out exactly when and where to look, watch the video below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, friends.